Hi there friends and welcome back to season 4 of my Genetic Grim series. I'm Icon and we're gonna be creating genetic monstrosities, just like we're, just like we're used to. So season 4 will be the final season of this series. If we manage to create the Architect project, I'm gonna be very very happy because this will be a first timer for me. So join me on this fantastic adventure and uh, if you're new to the series there are three more um, seasons to check out if you wanna about this uh, very long and eventful story how these folk, fine folks finally landed here. So back when I started this series I really I really noticed how much I learned bet uh, back between the day and now like uh, the defenses here there's so much optimization um, potential for the defenses here so let's start with that I'll go for wooden barricades the simplest thing to do here is to just add a barricade here the AI never wants to climb over barricades and uh, for some reason the AI pretends like those traps are invisible so you get the idea. There we go. I'm not sure if um, those how the AI actually sees those traps. Honestly, I have no clue. I just realized that we can create a labyrinth of death here for uh, against our invaders. I think that would be a really fun idea to create a real maze area here. Okay, fun stuff. Let's check out our guest situation. So manage areas. Um, I got this design assigned as my shopping zone. Great. But why don't we... Or do I already... Okay, I already do. Great. So that's assigned. I do have a ton of food. What the kibble? I mean, 4.5 grand of kibble. So, how's that configured again? Hay and all the meat. Okay, this was a uh, suspend job, if I remember correctly. So, there's almost no food for humans and uh, all the food for the animals. Okay. Alpacas, wolf, wolfalos, paragon boomalope, muffalope, muffalo wolves. Yeah. I forgot which... Uh, which one produced the cryofuel, but it, I think it was the Boomfellow which created the uh, the cryofuel. I already got the uh, mind control device, very nice. And we were looking for mechanoid genes as the newest, as my newest uh, fetish, alongside with, with thrombo genes, of course. So. We're now ready to do the good stuff. So welcome to season four. I'm so happy. I mean, this is basically like uh, jumping into a new story where everything you could wait for is already unlocked. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so let's get started with the storage furniture here. We're going to need some food baskets for real. No, no, they don't fit. Well, I can't do this then. <laughs> there are just a few things that I'm not able to do. Breaking symmetry, for example. Okay. So, or well, that's not entirely true. Sometimes I'm perfectly fine with breaking symmetry. Sometimes I'm not. So this place, we can just delete that. Just creating unnecessary work. Weapon-wise, how am I standing here? Pump shotgun, that's not really high-tech. That's not really high-tech either. That's no-tech. Oh dear. So, what have been here? <clears throat> Nothing better. I mean, I didn't really expect something better, but... Got a bunch of good insanity items that's worth something i can already produce shells 
Okay. Good stuff. It definitely needs a door here. And... Good sir. Please. Please do this now. I want to uh, get the kibble out of the freezer, you know. There's no reason at all to have kibble in the freezer. That's why I just want to change that. Kibble is non is a non-perishable food, you know. Therefore, I want those finished. So storage, clear all except for kibble. Bang. Copy settings and paste them down. Paste them down. Okay, thanks, Lawman. That's all it needed. Okay. So now all the kibble will be transported out of the fridge, and I'll have a proper overview of my situation again, you know. So, animals are not allowed inside the freezer. I mean, even worse. There's uh, tons of kibble in there, and they're not even allowed to reach it. Okay. So, what about this area now? We have struck sunstone. Hey, Johnny, good stuff. Okay, I love sunstone. That's one of my favorite uh, colors out there. Hmm, insectoids. <clears throat> I don't know what I should think of the uh, Paragon Boomalope. Still looking for a paragon bear. <coughs> the paragon, paragon tortoise is uh, no longer a project. Paragon rat was just disgusting. Paragon iguana is still on my bucket list. Um, let's do it like that. Paragon muffalo. Did I already do that? I don't think so. Got to do that. Definitely got to do that. Paragon chicken? No. Paragon bear, we already have uh, talked about that. Paragon wild boar. Just uh, doing this as kind of a to-do list, you know. Emu. I don't think we're gonna meet emus or ostriches here, sadly. Rhino. Wow, that would be badass. Wolf. Definitely. Definitely wolf. Wolf is also on the table from time to time here. Iguana. Already on the list, so... I love this. This is such fun. So, tissue growing vat. Um, mechanoid heart. That's really uh, powerful stuff, you know. Iguana scales. High temperature. Venomous fangs. Thrombo skin. Wow. That's that's impressive. Thrumbo horn. <laughs> Kidney toxic filters. Wow. That's really good stuff. Psychic dampeners. Yeah, well. Insectoid antennae. Yikes. Compound eye. Bunny ears. Mole rat nerve dampener. Mmm. That's actually good stuff. So, uh, how much for that wire mesh here? Or do you produce the wire mesh? Oh, yeah. So, steel plus steel and component. Uranium wire mesh is the most costly one, requiring even advanced components. Okay. Well, it's uh, actually not that costly. At least the tier 2 ones. The tier 3 ones are insane. But, I mean, I think a bionic thrombo leg is also quite insane for your favorite pet animal. So, Muffalo Wolves. Just want to check out how fierce is my army for real. So, we got two Wolfalos. That's uh, packing a little bit of a punch, but... Uh, three Wolf Hybrids. The Raptortus, I think that's still... 
well that couple is still powerful but they're not able to breed so lizard ox cough spinal bear definitely definitely worth mentioning the spinal or defining the spinal bear a little bit more so what are we gonna do here um i really feel like we could do a pretty neat line of defense by creating a death corridor alongside this area here and uh, funneling my enemies um, into this area here. I mean, there's always the risk of getting attacked from this flank, so I definitely should have a plan B. So, I think I should work on the plan B first, because this side looks already quite like uh, a, a pretty tight defense. I mean, it's not perfect yet, but, uh, well, perfection is pretty hard to be uh, achieved. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna work on a plan B here first. So, where do I stockpile my stones and such? If it's here, things are not looking good. No, here's just the raw material. Where's my stone cutter table? Here's my stone cutter table. Ah, I got this nice yard. So, I got tons and tons of uh, mud bricks. So, well, okay, maybe that's a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but I could acquire even more of them if I'd really want to. So, do I want to? That's the question. I mean, mud bricks are, at some point, just used up, so I don't really want to use them. Yay, they buy in stuff! I love that. All I need now is uh, some some place where I want to buy stuff, but there's uh, that's always happening sooner or later. People come with stuff you want to buy. It's always like that. Okay, so I got lots of wood to work with here, but at the same time, I really feel like uh, grabbing up my my crew. And taking care of that uh, Feralisk problem here. Because, you know, these things will hunt ultimately something of my livestock. Sooner or later they always do that, and uh, therefore I'll rather act before they do. Because Feralisks are just like that. They're always... Uh, in for some trouble. Alright, there we go. Just wanted to make sure that these beasties won't be any trouble for my for my colony anytime too soon. Good stuff. Alright. Would be a shame. Completely unnecessary if uh, something happened there. What's uh, what's going on with this place and its ambrosia? Oh, <laughs> okay, whatever. I should have uh, named this place after its rich ambrosia um, sprouts, because if I remember correctly, this is not uh, remotely the first time. <laughs> So, six pirates need to be eliminated, but honestly, why should I? It's not that uh, enticing at all. Okay. Wow, I did nail down a lot of uh, cut orders there. Now, Lignite. Uh, no. Just want to make sure that I use some sort of stone which is available here, but uh, yeah, it looks like Lignite is kind of available. Okay, we're gonna build it with the Lignite. So, 
because I have a larger project in mind. It's just I feel very unhappy with my situation right now, which would leave me completely open against sappers uh, or such. So what I'm creating here is kind of a um, extra arena for inv against invaders, just to make sure that we won't be blindsided. So here we go, and uh, I'll take it like that. So there's no entrance for the enemies whatsoever because that's uh, not entire, not not at all my plan. This is just uh, basically a a invitation to sappers to just do their shtick, and uh, maybe I'm gonna be creating a few traps in here or I haven't fully decided yet what to do with this area but the main thing here is it's very important that we're not relying on the the main defense enti uh, entirely I've learned one thing during uh, rim, uh, during my many many sessions of RimWorld and that's never trust one layer of defense alone we could have drop pods on ourselves or uh, sappers, like I mentioned. And uh, right now, it's it, it's very very easy to be right in the middle of my base, just like poof. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And uh, this way, I can even create a big uh, meadow for my animals. It might be really a, really a thing I want to do. Because those beasties would like to have a place to live at, too. So, Johnny found clay. And, uh, well, I guess I could have uh, used Emperador Dark, too. There's, uh, with this big mining ops, <laughs> I should be, shouldn't have been that shy. But whatever. So... The rep tortoise is moving with 0.37 cells per second. Okay, it is a little bit uh, hindered due to its uh, brain scar. But, well, I hate brain scars. Just in case ever anybody might be asking, I hate that stuff. Okay, so we we struck tons of clay actually. If I remember correctly, that stuff needed to be baked in a kiln before you can actually use it. I have a vague memory of uh, that stuff not being usable without a kiln. So let's create a kiln. Mm. So... now. That's not what I had in mind. Let's go for something like that. These poor guys, there's a lot of work ahead of them to smoothen out all these walls. But I got my mind set on this uh, wall smoothing project, you know. Ah, uh, look at Lawman go. Perfect. Construction 19 sure um, gets the job done quite quickly. So, they really enjoyed their stay. Um, they left me silica wafers and hungry mix. <laughs> what a parting gift. Careful guys, those are not to, uh, to be eaten. What can I do with silica wafers? Okay, I can't draw uh, too many ma uh, too many mods. So, architect projects. Your colony is a thriving mecca of genetic engineering, pushing the limits of what was previously thought to be possible. But can you go even further? Your researchers have suggested 
that it may be possible to integrate one of the mechanoid biomonstrosities with a subjugated Architac AI. Would it be wise? Probably not. Would it be cool? Hell yeah. I love uh, flavor texts like these. So, I get, I guess we're um, now <clears throat> heading towards a similar path. This is, sounds like an endgame path, you know? Similar like the uh, spaceship. Similar to the spaceship, sorry. Okay, I really should cons also consider to invite a few of my guests to stay just a little bit longer. Oh, what's happening? Ah, visitors. I was just talking about people like you. So, Ithweba World Treaty. Um, plus 31. Well, we're not the best friends, but also we're not on uh, bad terms here. Well, I'll just monitor that and see if anybody is uh, eager to be recruited. It would be really, really cool. Because I feel like uh, seven people on this uh, project are just not enough. We need more. More than that, for sure. So, seems like I'm out of stones. Where am I? <clears throat> Let's assign those lignite blocks onto a higher priority here. I mean, there is a ton of work to be done, but uh, well, maybe somebody finds time. But there are 200 uh, stone blocks more for a lawman to work on, uh, with, so... Let's create our clay kiln stuff here. Maybe we do some art with that, I don't know. But most importantly, I want to use the stuff. I don't like resources which are not used, you know. Maybe I can avoid creating subsurface conduits here. So, the architect Oh yeah, here, controlling this planet. Who cares about freedom or home? The Architect Project might allow you to finally call this planet home with the freedom carved from the charred bones of your enemies. Oh, that sounds uh, delightful. The Architect Project platform will take 15 days to charge up. Once you begin that process, the Architect AI will resist its subjugation and will emit an, en an energy signature detectable from thousands of kilometers away. Ah, that sounds... Uh, that sounds like something I know. Raiders will flock to attack you in waves with an intensity you've never seen, blah blah. So, nothing new here. It won't start. Okay. Okay, so um we're going to we're going to do this. Let's see. First up we have of course to research the com uh, the necessary components and uh I'm far, far away from feeling ready uh, to take on this challenge. So there's a bunch of dinosaurs here. So I mean, <clears throat> having dinosaurs kind of like available sounds OP as much as it can be. So let's see, Corythosaurus. How much dinosaur materials do I still have? None, as it seems. Wait a sec, I had this uh, genetic extraction table here, didn't I? Yeah, I have no dinosaur genes. Let's change that. Also, is there anybody who wants to join me? Not yet. I really just want to take the people who want to join me on their uh, own volition because I feel like that's the safest way to keep your relationships stable with your neighbors. Okay. 
but seriously, let's uh, let's pick up those jeans. No half measures here. It's a friggin' dinosaur after all. And uh, well, <clears throat> there's a bunch of donkeys here. I wonder if it would be beneficial to tame them. Well, it's just uh, once you have enough. Uh, livestock you have to take care that you don't overdo it especially when you want to create genetic monsters wherever you can my farm is already that overflocked with stuff well although a bunch of wild living uh donkeys is very very tempting you know. easy to tame lots of gain I don't think I need them. Sad as it might be. Anyways, dinosaur genes. What kind of monster do we create now? Johnny carrying that dinosaur all on his own. I love this. Okay. So, what kind of... Uh combo do we want to try now so dino muffalo i didn't try that yet dino reptile already tried that as much as weird as it sounds i mean dino reptile come on that's like you would say i i do a reptile reptile but well dino chicken well that sounds uh, harmless i want dangerous stuff dino muffalo doesn't sound dangerous either i don't have dino i don't have thrombo genes though how the eggs would taste. So my wife wants to uh, talk me into a dino, <laughs> uh, into a dino chicken. <laughs> and how big they would be. Well, there you have it. I'm not gonna do this um, today. I think I don't ha even have chicken jeans right now, do I? Let's check it out. Chicken, chicken, chicken. I I do have. I do have chicken jeans. All right, good. Managing all this stuff is uh, quite the chore. I got, I tells you. I mean, but that's basi basically um, just because I want to have the the gene duplicates as uh, as tidy as possible. So well. I guess I'm gonna do my lady the favor and create a dino chicken. She's happy now. <laughs> so there's plenty of triceratops out there that I can farm to. Okay, attacking three triceratops at once is a adventure on its own, but uh, well, whatever. I guess working with dinosaur gen uh, genetics is always uh, some kind of an adventure. Let's just hope that we're not gonna create a flesh beast this time. That would be a shame. But, uh... Meeting with Sparrow. Oh, the Blue Moon people want some uh, peace talks with me. So, let's check out who's the best social person. Chirpy and Lawman. So, I'm gonna send people over there because I'd really appreciate friendly relationships with these people again. So let's ch send Chirpy and Paul Pearl because these two guys are able to to fight things off if necessary. They're also allowed to ride um, the the explosive animals. Go forth and bring peace on explosive animals. Okay, so that's done. The Dino Chicken Incubator is now um, ready to hatch sooner or later. Pearl has food poisoning from berries. They're such a dangerous, dangerous food type, whatever. I wish just the tooltip could be a little bit uh, less strange. I don't consider berries as a dangerous food type. Nobody does. Except for it's uh, except if it's poisonous berries, but they're not. We checked first. 
So this guy wants to sell me sh uh, wants to sell me donkeys. I got my own donkeys if I would want them. Thanks. Keep the donkeys, but I'll take the plus steel, all of it. Thanks. Awesome. It's really 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 awesome if some uh, guy comes along and offers you that. So. <gasps> Oh my god, a Psychic Animal Tamer. I definitely want that. Psychic Pacifier. Making them join your faction. What? Whatever. I, I need a use for all that money. Architect Shield Belt. Nah. Nah. Gold. Yes, please. So, I now have a massive stockpile of Psychic uh, items on this colony. I rarely use them, but honestly, this is such a good way of keeping this place safe because you know sometimes a single usage of this stuff is able to turn the tides of battle completely therefore oh what the nitroglycerin so um i got so much of that so nitroglycerin can be refined into nutramines or chem fuel Oh, I already have that job. It's just nobody doing it. You see, we need more people. So anybody of the guests want to uh, want to join me? No, sad. Alrighty, friends. So that's the end of today's episode. The Dino Chicken has to wait for the next episode. So uh, stay tuned. And yeah, I don't know how long season four will last. So we're going to be researching, preparing the defenses, so I assume we're gonna be in for around 20 to 30 epi- what, what's, uh, what up with Pearl? Why is Pearl? Ah, food poisoning. <laughs> Alrighty, I was just, uh, you know, when, when somebody's down on my caravans, I grow very, very concerned. Yeah, where was I? Leave a comment down below, leave a like, leave a subscribe, I'd be very, very happy. And uh, as usual, leave me also ideas which kind of monsters you want to see. You're very welcome to do so. Alright, catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.